Welcome to the Yamaha DTX 502 Touch Hybrid Setup Wizard video. Hi, I'm Tom, and today I'm going to talk about an amazing feature of the DTX 502 Touch app called Hybrid Setup. This wizard is the coolest thing to come along in electronic drums since the DTX pad. What it will do is it will guide you step by step through creating a hybrid setup, starting with assigning triggers to inputs, setting sounds to those triggers and pads, and then calibrating the settings based on how you play the drums. It's great if you've never programmed a trigger in your life because you've become a pro, and it's great if you're a pro because it saves you time and gets you results very quickly. So in this video today, I've got a Yamaha DTX HP 587 hybrid pack and my Yamaha Oak Custom acoustic drums. But you can follow along with any acoustic drums and any pads or triggers, but you will need a Yamaha DTX 502. You'll also need an iOS device and some way to connect it to the USB port on the 502, such as a Yamaha iUX1 cable or an Apple camera connection kit with a standard USB cable. Before we begin, you should prepare your acoustic drums for triggering by muffling the bass drum and using clean drum heads with dampening as needed. Attach your pads and triggers securely to the kit and connect each trigger to the proper input of the DTX 502 module with a good quality trigger cable. There are four dual mono trigger inputs, TOM 1, 2, and 3, can be split to access 10, 11, 12, as well as the kick input for a total of eight mono trigger inputs. There are also four multi-zone inputs. The snare, the hi-hat, the ride, and the crash inputs are all capable of either a single zone or three zone operation. Please consult the owner's manual of the DTX 502 for which trigger inputs are compatible with your pads and triggers. When you're finished, connect the iOS device to the USB port on your DTX 502 and launch the DTX 502 Touch app. You may be required to perform a firmware update, in which case follow the on-screen steps. Turn off the power, then turn on while holding the metronome button, and the update will begin. When finished, turn the power off, then on again. Confirm success and touch OK to access the DTX 502 Touch home screen. From the home screen, touch the menu button and then touch Hybrid Setup. Note that it's asking us to save our current settings. Well, we don't have any current settings yet. This is a brand new DTX 502. For now, we're going to follow along and create a new setting, which is one of the two ways you can start the Hybrid Setup wizard. Touch Create New Setting. Now we have the confirmation stage. We have to confirm with the app that everything is OK. Are all the pads and triggers positioned securely for performance? This is important because if we change the setup, we'll need to redo the hybrid setup. Answer yes. Is the main volume and external amplification, which is optional, set to a performance level volume? Well, that's important because crosstalk can be affected by the ambient stage volume. And if you did the hybrid wizard with headphones and then went on to a rock stage, you might have to do it again. So let's answer yes. Our monitoring system for this video is headphones. Step two, basic setting. This is where we assign the different triggers that we have and pads to the different inputs that we've plugged into the back of the DTX 502. The very first one, pad one, is my snare trigger. Under pad type, it says off. Let's set that to what it is, which is a DT20 trigger. What's more, it's set for this, I set it for the DT20 snare profile. Okay. For my uh, bass drum, that's in pad number seven. So I could touch pad seven. That is a DT20, but I want to use the uh, kick profile. There it is, DT10 slash 20 kick. Then for the tom, which is my TP70 pad, um, I want to select TP70. There is actually a snare profile and a tom profile. I'm going to choose the tom profile. 
it gives it a different velocity curve based on a TomTom setting. And then for the DTX pad, instead of touching pad 5, I'm going to strike the pad, and it's selected in the display, and I can set it for XP80 snare response or a Tom response. I'm going to leave it set for snare response. Now, while I'm here, you might have noticed that below the pad select, I can select an instrument voice. This is really convenient because in the same motion that I'm setting up my triggers, I can get my sounds ready. So I'm going to strike the snare, and I'm going to select the deep oak snare. For the kick, I'm going to select oak, the 22-inch oak. Let's try number one there. Then uh, for this pad, let's go with a percussion instrument, and we'll take a bongo. And over here, another percussion instrument, conga. Okay. Basic setting is finished. Let's go to step three. Crosstalk setting. This is one feature I really love about the hybrid setup. What it's asking me to do now is hit the pads and triggers hard three times each. What it's going to do is calibrate the maximum expression that I can get without having crosstalk on all my pads and triggers. I'm going to start with pad number one. Pad four, pad five, pad seven, which is my kick trigger. Completed. Let's see what step four says. Please play the whole kit. Well, let's check it out. What I'm looking for is maximum expression with the minimum of crosstalk and the sounds that I assigned. Good. Nice wide expression. Let's see if I have any crosstalk when I play the toms. Sounds okay. I think I'm good. No problem. Now, I can save my user kit and my user trigger setup from this one page. I can give them both names, and I can determine where in the user bank I want to save them. Let's call this a funk test for the kit. And uh, we'll save that at uh, location 55. And for my trigger setup location, I'm going to leave it set for 16 but I'm going to call it my setup, save. Now, it's asking me if I want to overwrite the user kit and the user trigger settings. Well, those are always there. So I'm going to go ahead and hit execute. And now I've done two things. I've calibrated all my triggers and told the uh, DTX 502 what's connected where. So I've optimized my hybrid setup and I've assigned sounds that I'm going to use as a starting point for my hybrid kit. Super, super easy. DTX 502 Touch app and the hybrid setup wizard.